Hello everyone, myself Dr. Sharmila Pandey, Associate Professor in the School of Sciences, Sage University, Bhopal. Today I will discuss on stereoisomers. So what is stereochemistry? So this is basically is the branch of chemistry which deals with three-dimensional structure of molecule and their effect on physical and chemical properties. So to represent molecule as three-dimensional object, we need at least one carbon should be sp3 hybridized. So this is the 2D drawing of a molecule, but this is not appropriate for stereochemistry. This is a 3D drawing which is appropriate for stereochemistry. We can see here this carbon is sp3 hybridized and we have drawn the molecular structure in three dimension. What is isomerism? So compounds which have the same molecular formula but differ from each other in physical or chemical properties are called isomers and the phenomenon is called isomerism. There are two main types of isomerism. First one is constitutional isomerism and the second one is stereoisomerism. So constitutional isomerism is when the isomerism is due to difference in the arrangement of atoms within the molecule. Without any reference to space, the phenomenon is called constitutional isomerism. Constitutional isomers are compounds that have the same molecular formula but different structural formulas. They can be of five types, chain isomerism, position isomerism, functional isomerism, meta -isom metamerism, and tautomerism. Second type of isomerism is stereoisomerism. When isomerism is caused by the different arrangements of atoms or groups in space, the phenomenon is called stereoisomerism. The stereoisomers have the same structural formulas, but they differ in arrangements of atoms in space. In other words, the stereoisomerism is exhibited by such compounds which have the same structural formula, but they differ in configuration. Stereoisomerism is mainly of two types, optical isomerism and geometrical or cis trans isomerism. So today here I will discuss on the stereoisomers. So first one is optical isomerism. Optical isomerism is a type of stereoisomerism. Here, the outstanding feature of optical isomers is that they have the ability to rotate plain polarized light. Most compounds do not rotate the plane of polarized light. So the speciality of optical isomers are, is that they have the ability to rotate plane polarized light. Now they also can be of two types. The first one is enantiomers. Stereoisomers, which are non-superimposable mirror images of each other are called enantiomers. Chirality is necessary and sufficient condition for existence of enantiomers. These always exist as discrete pairs. So here we can see this compound, the left hand side compound is exactly the mirror image of the right side compound. But if we try to superimpose these two, we cannot do that. That means these pair or these two compounds, they are non-superimposable mirror image and they are known as enantiomers. The second one is diastereomers. These are the stereoisomers that are not mirror images of each other. So here we can see compound A and compound B, they are non-superimposable mirror image. Also, if we see compound C and D, we can see that these two are also non-superimposable mirror image. So A and B are enantiomers, C and D are also enantiomers, but A and C, we can see A and C, they are not mirror images of each one. So we can see A and C are diastereomers. Similarly, B and D, they are also not mirror images of each other. So they are also diastereomers. So these are two main optical isomers, enantiomer, non-superimposable mirror image, diastereomers, not mirror images of each other. 
Then comes the geometric isomerism, that is cis-trans isomerism. The carbon atoms of the carbon-carbon double bond are sp2 hybridized. The carbon-carbon double bonds consist of sigma bond and pi bond. The presence of this pi bond locks the molecule in one position. Therefore, rotation around the carbon-carbon double bond is not possible. So this restriction of rotation about the carbon-carbon double bond is responsible for this geometrical isomerism. Cis isomerism, that is cis isomers, is one in which two similar groups are on the same side of the double bond. So here we can see both, the both CH3, they are on the same side of the double bond. So these are known as cis compounds, the, that is cis isomer. The trans isomers is one in which two similar groups are on the opposite side of the double bond. So here we can see both the methyl groups are on the opposite side. So this isomer will be known as trans isomer. Thank you.